got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric, wavy when I turn it on. All from my city, all from my home. We're flying up, no ceiling. My experiences, beliefs, and interests have formed the clinical philosophy I adhere to as a practicing clinician. As a speech and language pathologist, I will observe and respect my clients' cultural and personal values as a means to treat them in a manner that is relevant and meaningful to them. I will help my clients to learn what their own capabilities are while treating them with evidence-based practices and expanding my own scope of practice to treat as many clients as effectively as possible. As a speech language pathologist, my career is driven by helping others that do not have the perfect life but strive for a better quality of life. I will do this by using my past clinical and life experiences to help others create a better quality of life by being a compassionate role model for my clients and including family involvement in the progress of pediatric communication. My clinical philosophy surrounds five C's. One, child-focused service. Two, commitment to my profession and the ethical code of practice. Three, connectedness with my client and their family. Four, collaboration with the team. And five, continuing education. Uh, these are the qualities that I've leveraged throughout my journey to fulfill my dream of being a speech language. When I mistakenly college. overstepped the line at the immigration check at Narita International Airport in Japan, and the older gentleman working said, Dajibadis, with a smile, I frantically turned and looked at the person behind me for a translation of what I would come to realize is the ubiquitous phrase, it's okay. That began my first experience abroad, living in a country where people spoke a language in which I could neither understand others nor express myself. In my three years in Japan, countless strangers and many instructors helped me to learn functional Japanese. And my own difficulties in communication gave me an appreciation for the experiences those with communication difficulties have in their daily lives. We in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. You more like the way we rock it. So don't stop. Whether I'm working with a young child or an adult, each person deserves services that will lead to a higher quality of life and enhanced relationships with others. I support the enhancement of therapy services to all members of a society, regardless of one's age, communication disability, race, gender, socioeconomic status, etc. I strive to advocate for my clients by acting as a support system and providing assistance in whatever concerns or issues they may have with their communication in all facets of with their With my life. abilities to collaborate with other clinicians and healthcare professionals, I hope to be one of the main sources of my clients' improved communication, cognitive, and or swallowing abilities. My goals abilities. and overall vision of who I want to be as a clinician are based on the expectations that I had as a patient about my clinical professionals. Treating others with a high degree of consideration, respect, and evidence-based practice reflects how I would want to be treated as a patient and how I intend to treat the my best clients. Story started with Once Upon a Time, follow a dashing main character, quirky sidekicks, a handsome prince on a journey, and usually end with, and they all lived happily ever after. While my story may not be one of the timeless classics, it follows the journey of a dashing main character through the realms of advocacy, language in a classroom, and speech-language pathology. I did not start out as a speech-language pathologist. I started as a sibling to a boy who was diagnosed with autism. The first time I met an SLP, she taught me how to play with my brother and use a PEX board to encourage him to talk. The second SLP I met taught me that it was okay to be upset that my brother was being picked on and gave me the educational tools to argue with the bullies and stick up for him. The seventh SLP taught me how important it is to advocate that all children, teens, adults, and families sometimes need a fairy godmother to give them tools and help them help each other. I have worked with many families as a personal care assistant, respite, care, uh, respite caregiver, support staff, have written letters of support for services, therapies, and the benefit 
of the child or adult. Using the tools my Fairy Godmother SLPs gave me and combining evidence-based practice with the constant push for a more functional life, I will continue to advocate for my clients. Everything goes, nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine.